so to start with uh, as we are dealing with stroke post stroke conditions stroke is defined as an episode of acute neurological dysfunction which is caused due to either by ischemia or hemorrhage which can be persisting for more than 24 hours or until death so stroke leads to a lot of disabilities uh, most of them having some motor impairments or sensory impairments but it has been found that around 35 to 40% of adults who are admitted to the hospital for stroke on di- on uh, discharge they are diagnosed with aphasia so moving on to aphasia aphasia is defined as acquired neurogenic language disorder resulting due to an injury to brain most typically left hemisphere so i would like to highlight here that it is a language disorder uh, because most of commonly we misunderstand aphasia as only difficulty to speak whereas language involves more than just speaking in by in language we mean expressing our thoughts which could be expressed by speech that is an audible symbol by a uh, pantomime or gestures which are motor symbols like i'm moving my hands right now these are the motor symbols when i'm expressing my speech and by writing which are graphic symbols so uh, what language for a communication to occur it is a very complex procedure wherein the person needs to receive an impulse perceive it interpret it with all the other past memories he has regarding that impulse retention of that and recall like how it was utilized why it was utilized to visualize it and then form an appropriate answer and then give it out so more complicated form is what i have written here linguistic communication requires motor acts necessary for execution reception and interpretation of these acts when carrying out by others along with retention recall and visualization of the symbols so i feel a more comprehensive definition for aphasia will be like it is a defect or loss of power of expression or comprehension either by speech writing or gestures due to a brain damage so now that we have learned about language let's learn more about levels of comprehension so levels of language comprehension there are three overall as we can see here first is level of arrival in the level of arrival a person merely just uh, notices or perceives a symbol at level of knowing the symbol is recognized and during association they use all the recall and past and everything to associate it with current situation so as to form an answer so uh, if like we are pay- playing dumb charades and if i tell you okay i'm going to do an action now and now we have to guess what did uh, so this is like in dumb charades for the movie that i saw in the afternoon so i'm going to just enact this now this could mean a lot of different things again okay, i'll do it just a movement of my fingers so this could mean a lot of things for a lot of people so the first level the level of arrival is when you notice my fingers moving that's it the level of knowing will be thinking all the different things by when i move my fingers and all the things which movie should matlab what what does moving fingers and opening them out indicate and a lot of people will come with a lot of answers and association will be now my for me it was i meant flower so as i said association will be when i try to associate it with the current situation okay well, i think it means flower which is current movie around the name of a flower and then we could go oh, yeah it's pushpa so that's the movie that i saw so this is the part of language comprehension so when i did this it was a gesture a motor symbol right now moving on next to level of motor speech function again in level of motor speech function this is the output part what we learned earlier the level of language comprehension was the input part how we received the gesture and how we processed it 
now the level of motor speech function is how we are going to give an output now we uh, it's there are three levels of motor speech function first is emotional language level the second is automatic level and third is propositional or volitional level so uh, emotional language level is what we usually feel what we usually find even in patients who are very drowsy like if you give them a painful stimuli or if you give them anything then the immediate response is ouch or wincing or any kind of noise that they make or just like oh god to another yeah the next is automatic level so this is where it gets complicated in uh, when i say if we have a com if we have a conversation when i go to a patient and ask hi how are you and he replies oh i'm fine thank you so that is an automatic response which the patient has been doing for quite some time and that is why we call it as an automatic level uh, again the third is propositional or volitional level so propositional or volitional level motor speech function is what i'm doing right now so where i'm processing my thoughts conveying it varying the uh, speech intensity and everything which is the normal function that we do okay i would like to add a few notes on emotional language level so emotional language level is usually perceived even when there is gross aphasia uh, like we feel that patient cannot say anything but the patient response to pain and even most of the time that we have observed is when a patient is being uh, very angry and agitated he otherwise doesn't speak anything but when he's very angry and agitated he might just start cursing and use explicative words and things that are very bad so that is again a part of emotional language but other than that he wouldn't utter a single word again on automatic level when we do that uh, most of the patients uh when they are in sub acute phase or when the when the involved area is not too uh, big at that time we find them that initially they are drowsy then they recover and then they are able to hold conversation for uh, just as i said hi how are you i'm fine thank you did you have lunch they'll say yes but other than that if you ask them a multi step question or something that is not a very not a very regular conversation that they have then you will notice the error in their motor speech output